all uh, today we will discuss one of the error uh, which we are uh, which uh, most recently i faced uh, one of the vm actually uh, this is as you can see uh, here in the screenshot this is the error uh, remote desktop uh, licensing mode is not configured so in that case uh, we normally uh, reset the rds so that uh, it will uh, resolve that issue okay uh, as you can see here in the array screenshot a remote desktop uh, services will stop working in one and uh, 170 days okay so how we can uh, resolve that issue uh, uh, normally it's uh, popping us uh, when uh, rds is configured on any vm okay so let's uh, go and uh, see how we can resolve that issue so this is this is my uh, test lab vm let me rdp to that Once you will be uh, logging, uh, there is there will be error found here in the notification. Please hold for a minute. Yeah, as you can see here, the remote desktop uh, services. This is there. Have you seen seen that? So uh, how we can uh, resolve that issue? So basically, we have to reset the RTS. Uh, for that, we need to uh, uh, re, uh, delete the key from the grace grid uh, value. Okay. For that, I have to uh, go to the registry so so go to the registry and as you can see here uh, in the local system after that to the system and control set after that control go to that uh, terminal server okay in the drop down you can see the rcm in the rcm you can see here one of the folder is available grace period okay so uh, as you can see uh, this is the divot value uh, which we have to delete from the registry so better uh, we can uh, take uh, backup of this uh, registry uh, to avoid avoid uh, issue if, uh, so i have taken the backup of this uh, grace uh, period uh, folder a uh, registry value backup so now i am proceeding to delete this as you can see here you will not able to delete the specified values because uh, you don't have a permission on this for entire folder first of all you have to take permission on this folder okay let me add me as you can see i have added my account and i have provided the access full control later you have to take ownership of this folder entire folder okay i have checked replace on and of the uh, current sub container and object apply okay 
then apply okay now let's try me if i can able to delete yeah now it's uh, deleted okay after that uh, you need to reboot this vm uh, to reflect uh, on this vm uh, reflect the means uh, so i am going to reboot this vm as we can as we know that if uh, any registry value we are uh, removing or modifying uh, for that always required a reboot so that the, it will reflect on the vm so uh, after the deletion of the that registry value i'm proceed for proceeding to reboot this vm okay so the vm has rebooted let me ping the ip as of now i am uh, uh stopping uh, pausing this uh, video once the back uh, once the vm will be back online i will resume it you can see here my vm is back online let me add a bit to that vm Let's hold for a minute. If we found any error in the notification, So uh, as you can see, uh, we have not found any uh, error in the notification. So this is the basic steps uh, which we can implement uh, to resolve that issue.